to do that. Mm. I wanted to ask you, what goes through your mind, because it's you locked in that helmet with all your thoughts, obviously the concentration level is very high given the rocks and the sand and everything you can come across, but I mean, do you find yourself singing songs in your head oh, or you thinking sort of about you know, what, things, you yeah. do and what you're going to do when you get home? Or? Sometimes you scream of happiness, sometimes you have you know, waves of emotion coming towards you. Uh, Sometimes you get upset, uh, sometimes you're happy, and all you try to do is tame your emotion to just to stay concentrated. One split second of inattention and it's, it's finished. So, but you have 10, 10, 12, 15 hours sometimes on the mm. bike. Uh, there's a lot of think just by yourself. things to think about. <laughs> yeah. Do you get to the stage, because the concentration is so intense, that your mind starts playing tricks on you, that you that you may be seeing rocks or trees. Do you know what I mean? Are you just on the edge a little bit? Uh, I didn't, uh, we were not pushed to that limit, I think, uh, this year. Um, but you do a lot of things and sometimes you see um, a tree that looks like a person, but it's not. You know, you see a lot of things like this, so you would slow, slow down just thinking, oh, somebody might just cross and it's just a tree or a shadow. But uh, now it's, you try to stay calm in your head and you know not, not going too, uh, too crazy. I'm guessing it would be some sort of personal victory just to finish each and every day of that sort of trek. That's right. The, the race in itself, it's uh, two weeks. That's a challenge. It's, it's nice to finish it. It's good. You know, you say, yes, I did it. But the real race starts you know, 10 months before, preparing for the whole thing as a private year. It takes so much effort to get to that level. And the race is almost like... A holiday in itself you know you, now you get to finally get to start into the Dakar rally. All right so you, you turn around you're automatically I guess preparing for next year as far as training goes mm -hmm. I guess you have to have a new bike because I mean, yes. the other one would probably be shot after a, a race <laughs> like that. Uh, tell us how much money and, and I guess pre preparation for next year or the end of this year starts now. That's right yes preparation physically starts now starting to look for, for sponsors as well uh, the budget for the race is anywhere between 90 and 120 thousand um, dollars. With the exchange rate with euro, it makes it even harder for yeah. us here. Yeah. Um, the entry fee is expensive. The bike is expensive. The parts, the tires, it just adds up so quickly. And so yes, it takes a lot of sponsors and a lot of help to be able to finish it. And all you get at the end is this. Is what? <laughs> An empty wallet? No, no, no. Yeah, that too. But. That's what you end up with at the end. Oh, oh beautiful. Fantastic. There you go. So, that's I'm a participation medal, is it? That's right, yeah. I must just ask you, you grew up living in the Ivory Coast. In, in a sense, do you feel at home in Africa? When you, you know, is there a part of you that, that says, this is very much a part of me? That's right. When, when I finally went 